I'm Dale Thompson. I'm the Deputy Director of Public Works. And I first would like to send my regrets from Director Chow, who is unable to be here today. We're very excited to be here to announce the innovative programs involving DPW's Office of Sustainable Energy. How we as a city use energy goes a long way towards determining our city's fiscal health and possibly even our physical health. And here to say a few more words about this innovative program is Mayor Stephanie Rawlings-Blake. Thank, Thank you so much, Dale. Good morning, everyone. On this gorgeous morning, I thought it might be a great change of pace from our uh, normal uh, inside City Hall press conference conferences to come outside and to uh, recognize National, uh, National Drive Electric Week. Electric vehicles are keeping harmful tailpipe emissions out of our air, and they're reducing our reliance on fossil fuel. Both of those are goals of a sustainable city, and I'm proud to be here today to show off some of the ways that Baltimore is supporting the growing use of electric vehicles. For years, Baltimore has promoted the use of these cars by providing charging stations. I think we were one of the first jurisdictions in the uh, state to, pr to, mo to promote with as many uh, chargers, charging stations as we had throughout the city in our city owned garages. We now have more than 20 charging stations throughout the city, including the two here that you see here at War Memorial Plaza. We're installing even more charging stations throughout the city. But while we do that, it's also important that we continue to innovate by introducing this, the next step in electric vehicle convenience. We recently installed this DC fast charger, that little box over there. The next generation machine reduces the time it takes to charge a typical electric vehicle from six hours to just 30 minutes. That's a type of efficiency that I like. It's the first of its kind in the city and it's among the first to be installed in the state. It's not just faster, but you'll notice it has two plugs. These different kinds of plugs will serve the di will be able to serve different types of electric vehicles from Chevy Sparks and Nissan Leafs to the new Teslas that are hitting the streets. If alternative vehicles like these cars that run on electricity, you know, if if we are going to succeed in getting more vehicle electric vehicles on the street, we have to continue to look for ways to make it more convenient and to make Baltimore an electric vehicle friendly city. Adding more charging stations and advancements like the fast charger will help promote the use of these vehicles. So, I would like to thank Nissan for the $40,000 contribution to this effort. I would like to thank the Maryland Energy Administration for being a contributing partner as well so that Baltimore could make the DC fast charger available to the growing number of electric vehicles and the drivers in our city. In fact, some of those electric car drivers are our own city employees. Do we have any of our dri electric car drivers out here today? Wonderful. A, a nice Tesla? I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just joking. I'm just joking. The Office of Sustainable Energy, which is part of the Department of Public Works, recently secured over $52,000 in grants from the Maryland Smart Energy Communities. And we're using that money to see how electric cars can work as a part of the city's fleet. So if you see a Chevy Spark, a Smart uh, 4-2, or 4 -two, whatever, a Nissan Leaf, or the VW e-Golf moving silently through traffic, there may be a DPW driver uh, in their work, doing, doing their work and testing the vehicle. We're interested in seeing how well our employees adapt to these cars, use these cars, and charge these cars, and how quickly we can save taxpayers money with implementation. I would also like to thank Baltimore Washington Electric Vehicle Initiative for bringing together uh, the, the public-private partnership to make this happen, to promote the adoption of electric vehicle use in Baltimore and around, um, around Maryland. They make a great point when they say breathe easier, easier, plug in and drive electric. I encourage you to take a look at the DC Fast Charger and some of the city's electric vehicles uh, as well. I wanna thank you all for coming out here, giving me a chance to uh, get out and enjoy this beautiful weather. And I hope, who am I gonna turn it back over to? Am I gonna turn it back over to you, Dale? All right, and with that, I'm gonna turn it back over to Dale. Thank you very much. Thank you, Madam Mayor. I would um, like to introduce uh, Jeff Goff, 
who is with Nissan. I'd like him to say a few words if he's here. Yes. I'm sorry, it's Jean. That's quite all I right. I apologize. Thank you, Mayor, and uh, thank you, City of Baltimore. Uh, my name is Jean Goff, and I work with uh, Nissan in business development for the electric vehicles through the Northeast region. And I'm very pleased to see Baltimore has joined many other cities throughout the Northeast to support the electric vehicle. The infrastructure is something Nissan also loves to get behind, and we have nationwide to help as a support system to the EV drivers, both business, municipalities, and the consumers. I think as folks become more familiar with the vehicles, they'll see their applications at a municipal level through many departments within the city, in addition to the uh, businesses that use them for delivery services, and consumers find them fabulous for not just the commute, but their day-to-day -day car, which we now, with the uh, introduction of the 2016 LEAF, have an EPA of 107 mile range. So we now have a car that meets 99% of the consumer needs for driving range that's an affordable vehicle. So I want to thank very much the uh, City of Baltimore, the many supporters that have lots of details to share with you as far as the industry of electric vehicles, and encourage all of you to become familiar with the choice. There's a, there's a lot out there, and the LEAF is certainly the highest selling car, but I think uh, you'll find something for everyone in the industry. Thank you. And I'd also like to introduce uh, Jill Sorensen with the Baltimore Washington Electric Vehicle Institute. Thank you. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. Uh, I represent a nonprofit that's been around for about eight years and is part of a larger nonprofit that's been working on electric vehicles for about 35 years. Some change takes time. But we don't give up. The fight is worth it. What we're celebrating today, and again, thank you, Mayor, for your leadership. What we've seen with the city is a lot of quiet leadership. You're not going to see a lot of these pieces in the news, so we're so thrilled that you're here today. But they're real, and they're more than energy. This is exciting clean energy activity. But this initiative is taking both clean energy and industry to the streets curbside. So I'll share with you a little story. I had the pleasure of meeting a young entrepreneur last night named Crystal Mack who runs the Pi Cycle. She's part of OpenWorks and some of the initiatives to inspire entrepreneurs and small businesses to go to work. She literally cycles her goods, handmade, homemade here in Baltimore, to those interested in buying. We talked about electric vehicles and how she might expand her business if she could go a longer distance. And she smiled and said, what a great idea. One person initiates change, and that's a piece of what we're celebrating today. So thanks for being here to celebrate this wonderful initiative, National Drive Electric Week, and the city's significant leadership. Uh, shout out to Maryland Energy Administration and Constellation Energy, BGE, for supporting us students and a lot of the infrastructure that you see growing day by day. Thank you. And I'd also like to introduce Matt Wade, who is with the Electric Vehicle Institute. Thank you. Thank you very much for that introduction. The Electric Vehicle Institute, or EVI, is a Baltimore-based company. EVI has been supporting our city, state, federal, and commercial clients with their electric vehicle charging and pilot initiatives. EVI supports all aspects of electric vehicle adoption, including electric vehicle chargers, fleets, smart grids, and the monitoring of electric vehicle utilization. Thus, we are proud to work as a partner with the city's Office of Sustainable Energy, the Department of Public Works, the MEA, and the mayor to help transform this city into a transportation, energy, and environmental leader in terms of clean, sustainable infrastructure. Specifically, we're providing electric vehicle chargers throughout Baltimore for everyone to use. Through this initiative, we will more than double the number of electric vehicle chargers currently available in the city. As part of the pilot program we are celebrating today, EBI is providing the city leased electric vehicles for evaluation by multiple city departments. 
The fuel maintenance savings alone on these vehicles are estimated to be between 60 to 70 percent to comparable fossil fuel vehicles. This program will result in significant reductions in pollution and vehicle emissions. Mayor, thank you for leading us into a clean transportation era in the great city of Baltimore, and we all look forward to charging the future. Thank you. I'd now like to turn this back over to Mayor Stephanie Rawlings Blake. Thank you. Thanks so much, Dale. I hope everyone gets a chance to take a look at the fast, the DC fast charger, as well as the other vehicles, as we are working very hard to promote uh, what we're doing around sustainability and making uh, Baltimore a more uh, electric vehicle friendly uh, city during this National Drive Electric Week.